Hello and welcome to Infinity. I don't know if you've ever met or remember a, a thing called paint by numbers. It, it was almost like a child's painting thing. You know, I certainly had them when I was young. Where you get a board and it'd be a picture on it, but with line outlines, and inside each outlined area was a number. And well, that number would match a paint. We had a set of paints, and you then paint in the number into that space. And when you finished, you had it looked like you painted a picture and it looked nice. So we'll do a sort of something that looks like that. So we're going to start off with our layer here. I'm going to hit Control J to duplicate it. I'm going to turn off the top layer because I only want the bottom one for now. I'm going to come back to that top one. And what I want to do is reduce the number of colors. And a way to do that is go to Adjustments and to Posterize. And we start off at 16, but we don't take it down. And as we go down, you can see it's breaking it up into areas. In fact, you get down to this, this colouring like this, which if you recognise a hard mix picture, that's what it looks like. And so what we're going to do is come up till we get to, you see, we get too far, you've got too many areas. You want just a few areas to fill in. So maybe let's get that down to three. See, we've got enough breaking up across the face here. Face is important, of course, because that's where you look. So that's good. However, now we, we've now got rather the wrong colours. We want to put the right colours back in again. So we go to our top layer now. We can turn this on. And to just get the colour information from that layer, we get to the drop down here and go to where it says colour. And there you go. See the way it's now got in broken up into colours, but they're natural colours. We can go back to posterize again and we can play around with this if we want to. We can change the numbers, you know, all the way back down. In fact, there's, you know, you can go have a picture like that if you want. But let's keep this to three. I'll just type three in there. And that's pretty good. So that's pretty much it. You can stay with it just like that. But there's other things that you can do as well. So let's look at some of those other things. So the first thing, I'm going to take this bottom layer here, hit Control J to copy it and drag it up to the top. Then I'll double click on the posterize here and just going to merge that in. So I've just got this layer by itself now. And what I'm going to use this is to de detect edges. I want to put some outlines on things. So I'm going to go to filters, detect, detect edges. And I've got outlines and everything here. And this is pretty much a bit of a riot, isn't it? I can hit control I to invert it so it's on white. So I can use the darken blend or multiply to blend it back in again. But I want to be able to reduce these things to to some colours. So what I'm going to do here, just a way to push it into a black and white, is going to use the channel mixer and just change the output channel here to grey. That's all I'm doing. So I've got this now. So now what I can do with this is I can go to hit normal and this overall thing. Let's go down to multiply. You can see the way that we've drawn outlines on this now. We can use the opacity here to turn it down so it's not so strong like that. We can also, uh, in these, I'm just going to turn off the top layer and this one here. We're going to zoom into this one for a moment. See the way this is very pixelated here. If you've got that pixelation effect and you don't like it, a very simple thing to do is go to the live filters, go to a Gaussian blur, and literally put it up a tiny, tiny amount, 0 0.1 pixels. That's enough. See the way it's breaking up the outline? Needs a little bit more. You maybe you can turn it up to 0 0.2, but you don't blur the picture. You just want to break up the edges of the dots. Okay, so then if you go back up, you can see that's improved that there. You can do the same thing on this, the top layer as well, where you've got this. You could add a, a blur in there if you want to. Another thing you can do is you can add a curves layer. I'm going to put this at the top. I want to get, uh, does it affect everything? And I can sort of add a little bit of a, an S curve there to say strengthen the, the contrast of the colours, make it look almost a little bit more cartoonish. Uh, and another thing that you can do is if I add a pixel layer on everything here, 
So I've got the eyes here looking a bit odd, so I can paint on those. Literally, I'll take a paintbrush, and the colour is black, and the opacity there is probably turn that up a bit more. So we're just going to add some dabs in the eyes there. Oops. And, and make that about there. So I'll darken that so that when we need to spend more time getting this right. But if I zoom out, you can see the eyes there look a bit more natural. So there we go. That's how to create a paint by numbers picture. Thank you very much for watching.